Meteorologist Alex Forbes joining me here at the desk. It is the calm after the storm. Braves are playing. The weather is yeah. looking nicer. It's a little cooler, but we'll yeah. take it. Yeah, you know, if people forget like this part of April and May, it's typically cooler. Mm -hmm. It's just warmer to the touch because we will have just gone through winter. So this these temperatures we're seeing not entirely abnormal per uh -huh. se, but you know, still cool and certainly windy out there. Speaking of the Braves, there's Truist Park at this hour up there in Atlanta. They're sitting up in the 50s. The winds up there cranking as well. 21 miles an hour out of the west southwest over the next few minutes. Back down here in central Georgia, a mix of 60s and 50s. We got 62 Macon, 63 in Warner Robins, still hanging on to 59 up in Tom for Scythe and over in Butler down to the south looking into 60s as well 63 down in Eastman 62 in Bleckley County and 63 over in Lawrence County at this hour nothing to speak of on the radar thankfully and across the southeast we're mainly quiet across Mississippi Alabama Georgia but you head up towards the north you find some rain that's going to stay up there and in fact if you look closely there on the Tennessee North Carolina line some wintry mix. Yeah, today is April 8th and that is happening up there. I don't think we're going to see any showers down in central Georgia. I think this model has a little too much moisture in it. Instead, we're going to be rising into the 60s this afternoon. In fact, already there in several communities and then starting off tomorrow morning, relatively cool. Could see a few 30 sprinkled in. Then on Saturday, just a few clouds. And then once we roll the clock forward into Sunday, a cool start once again. And then Sunday afternoon rebounding back into the 70s, closer to where we should be for this time of year. Then on into next work and school week. Notice that there is a system developed out to the west. It's trying to bring some rain in here. I don't think it's going to have much luck in doing so until we get to about midweek or so. This is another front beginning to take shape. This is Thursday. Notice the European lining up more of a front while the GFS is bringing a weakening front through. So we'll be watching the details on that. And yes, we have picked up a lot of rain across Macon over the past few days. Now on the month over five inches of rain. In fact, close to five and a half. That puts us well above where we should be for any given March and then the year to date we are now an inch surplus for the year. All right, if you're headed up to Augusta over the next few days looking over at some fantastic weather conditions for the Masters obviously got off to a bumpy start earlier this week, but 59 so relatively cool tomorrow and then back to 75 for the final day on Sunday. Tons of sun to go around breezy today and tomorrow so that could maybe impact the game up there. 65 degrees is what we're going to do today. Relatively cool. Again, the average is in the 70s winds out of the West 10 to 15, but we could see gusts up of 30 miles an hour and then I pointed this out just a few minutes ago sunset tonight is going to be at 8 o'clock in central Georgia. So a quiet night. The wind's calming down just a little bit. I've got our overnight low pegged at 39. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw a few communities go even a few degrees cooler than that. Then for Mercer baseball this weekend, it's going to be cool. 60 degrees, the high temperature for Saturday. First pitch at 2, first pitch at 1 on Sunday. High temperature there of 74. Here comes the 7-day forecast. Back to 79 by Monday, 82 on Tuesday, and we're in the middle 80s by Wednesday. There's that 40% chance of storms on Thursday. Wanya, we're going to be watching the models to see if that lines up a little better by the end of next week.